I went into the film with low expectations because I was hearing mixed feelings about this film and honestly I had a great time watching this film and this is a must watch film in theaters if you care about your film watching experience. Hello guys I'm Nona Prince and today we're talking about the latest Hollywood film Dune based on the novels by Frank Herbert directed by Denis Villeneuve I'm sorry if I butchered that he also wrote the screenplay with Eric Roth and John Sparks with a wonderful ensemble cast which I'll come to later now this will be a non spoiler review I don't do that often but this time I will because the film just came out now personally I haven't read the books neither I have watched the mini series or the film which came out in 1980s but my friend Varun has done a whole research about Dune and that's why he made a video of about Dune on my second channel in Gaming Society. Now I know this may feel like a promotion for that channel and that video but honestly watching the movie after watching that video really really helped me. I didn't feel confused. I understood what's really happening in the film and it made my experience much much better. I never felt confused throughout the film. Now that video is non spoiler it has nothing to do with the plot of this film. It just talks about the 10000 year old history of this Dune universe. What has happened before this film? So you'll get a rough idea about this universe because the film don't really get into all of that. It tries to follow this plot and narrative. So knowing that extra information would really really help you. So I'll really recommend you to watch that video before you watch the movie. Again, I'm not just saying to promote the video. It's a really good video which helped me personally. Now coming to the film, I think it's the most epic film I've seen this year. That too in a the theater. As I said, it's a must watch in a the theater. If you're someone who cares about the experience of a film, don't watch it on a laptop, please. If you have to wait if the theaters are not open, wait. Wait for it to come to theaters. And if you're very unlucky and don't get to watch in theaters. I feel sorry for you. The film has some breathtaking visuals. And the best thing is that these visuals are supporting the narrative. It's not just there for aesthetic value with no meaning. There's a purpose to it. There's a whole world building attached to it. You know the grand way they have shot everything, the desert, the spaceships, the palaces. It looks gorgeous. Outstanding work by the cinematographer Greg Fraser. You know the whole desert, the sand dunes. That's what the film is based on. It feels like the desert is a character in this film. It is also breathing and doing something in this plot. The background music is so chilling. It is very dramatic, honestly. It feels like music from an Indian movie. But outstanding work by Hans Zimmer, the legend. It is a very big saga, and this is Dune Part One actually. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we get more parts of the film. By the end of the film, I felt invested in this world, in these characters. I want to know what will happen next. There's a constant mystery and suspense throughout the plot, and that is held by the narrative structure of this film. It's not non-linear, but throughout the film there are certain glimpses which gives you a scope of what this universe is about, and that intrigues you. That can also confuse you a bit. And you know which film this reminded me of? KGF because KGF also has this different kind of you know narrative structure I know these two films are very distinct but it just in a way reminded me of KGF and you know that mystery and suspense keeps you on your toes it never becomes boring there are certain moments you feel you know what is going to happen but actually you don't now definitely there's not a lot of action as a trailer may suggest it is slow in that sense but it's still majestic whatever is happening on screen looks grand you cannot take off your eyes from the screen it will keep you hooked even when the characters are just talking or walking from one place to another and i think that's the genius of this film you don't need an action sequence every 15 20 minutes you know to keep the audience engaged that's what great storytelling is if you have seen the director's previous film blade runner 2049 and if you enjoyed that you'll definitely love this now coming to the cast oh my god every frame is filled with amazing actors leading from the front is timothy shalame who i recently watched in call me by your name and he's amazing in that film and here he really holds up his role. Rebecca Ferguson, I have only seen her in Mission Impossible films, but here she gave me goosebumps. Then we have Oscar Isaac, Josh Brolin, Jason Momoa had such a good role and there are a lot of characters in the film. And at the end you may feel like you know some characters were not given justice and all of that, but you know this is supposed to be multiple films. So we'll see those characters more in the later films maybe. Hopefully, hopefully. Man, I cannot wait to watch the next film. and the next film and the next film because i want to get into this cinematic experience of this epic saga unfolding on the screen i cannot stress enough on the fact that do watch it in theaters if you can if it's possible for you you cannot afford to miss that experience and as i said it is a slow movie it is a long movie it's 2 hours 30 minutes i would just say go in with a open mind and just absorb whatever is happening on screen it will just make you feel majestic now coming to the important question is this film overhyped not at all
through channel membership you can support this channel and help me continue this journey ahead and in turn you get various perks to know more click on the join button for more information check out the community page now we'll be doing a spoiler discussion soon maybe on this channel or on the second channel so do look out for that so guys that is the video if you enjoyed this hit the thumbs up button share this video in the comments your thoughts if you are subscribed yet check out the videos if you like them too do by subscribing and i'll see you next time